Previously on Complete Games. Everybody ready for this? Yes. Absolutely. We got this, we got this. Right, here we go. Oh, 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 I've done the first bit. Okay. Okay. That one's no sprint jump. That one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. oh. Yeah, just about that. Bye, shiny. <laughs> Oh, 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 I So we continue with our challenge to complete the center map. I'm just heading along the coastline of Volcano Island, just up to where this river of lava flows out into the ocean here. And we're gonna be heading for the artifact of the hunter today. This cave entrance would be pretty easy to miss if you didn't know it was here. And it doesn't really look like a cave entrance. There it is, just there. So I'm gonna do this initially you would have had to have done this cave on foot of course with the introduction of cryopods that changed everything up but you can see we're just facing the island with the snow mountain just over there towards the green obby just pull up the map so you can see for yourselves as i've mentioned before there's only six artifacts we need i did actually start this episode off showing off the artifact of the brute that one's another easy one to find if you know where it is. It's just on the outside of a cave, but it is an underwater artifact. So let's just stick dead man away. But yeah, I know a lot of people believe that the introduction of the cryopod came out with extinction, but it didn't. It came out sometime after. And back in the day, you'd have had to have built in these caves but I think this one was designed for a group of players really on foot. Of course, I'm going to be using a filer today. Now, heard in center map news that they are going to be adding its own exclusive creature. And uh, you're going to be able to vote in that. And that's a good thing. That might encourage some more players to come and check it out. Because it is a good map. It really is. I've enjoyed it. I think... There's a few of us who are going to be able to complete this map, so I might be able to show you a few different boss fights. Like I've mentioned we're going to be going for the Rhinos, but uh, a couple of players have also managed to get to the end game. And, oh, wrong one. We wouldn't be able to fly in here. We've got no cave flyers on here. Just in case you're wondering. I can use a Philo. So. Like I say, this would have initially been done on foot. I'd have probably come in here with grappling hooks. Had to shoot. But look at all the bad stuff in here. It's loads of it. Less is more wild card. Now. I'm sorry that these episodes are so far apart. But these are kind of vanilla settings when it comes to breeding it takes ages so I just figured I would check in with an update and uh, perhaps just show off one of these caves while I'm getting my boss army ready to defeat the guardians and froze just head around the back try not to get spat on but I think I did there okay so we got some loot uh, just put some more melee on cat 
I haven't had anything great back from this cave, but I do need to do it a couple more times to get some more artifacts. But I think I need one more, then I've got three of the hunter. Let's go this way first. I can't remember which way the artifact was. Philo is a good creature in here though. So when it comes to the map design, you can actually take Rexes through some of the caves and it was designed that way. I should turn item gatherer off, but I never do. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you fall down there, you can get back up. Say so it's a relatively small cave. Plenty of pearls in here. Hey, Ambrose. Okay, and I'm gonna go straight on. So I am working on some other stuff in the background. I don't know about you guys, but I've kind of been fascinated with ESA videos on all sorts of subjects. I always learn something when I watch them. I find that format you know, really cool to watch. And I've been experimenting doing that myself. But, uh, well, with a subject that I know about, and that, that's uh, survival games. Jeez, look at all of this bad stuff. But they do take <laughs> a long time to put together, and uh, I can end up rumbling on and get really off topic. So they weren't making scripts and... They just take so much time. The editing process takes so much time, but I am working on stuff in the background as well that, um, that, that I hope some of you will enjoy. Anyway, I, I think I've got something to say on the subject of survival games. I have done a little bit of freelance work for Q&A testing, and, uh, you know, I was there at the start of the survival game genre, and I think that's what I want to kind of put my two cents in about about where it's going and where it came from and Ark really was one of the first prior to that I always mention ooh, what we got there uh, trike saddle ascendant one Jaybird one of the players on this map was on about uh, perhaps taking on the bosses with trikes I would really love to see that I'm pretty sure everybody would love to see a boss fight with trikes because I haven't seen somebody do it so you know Jay hopefully hopefully before we leave this map we can, <laughs> we can see if trikes can actually be a good option um, but yeah so uh, the survival video essay is kind of I'm, I'm putting it together and um, I've played all of the survival games out there. And it is really one of my favourite genres. All sort of stems from that Daisy Epoch mod from Armour 2. One of the survival games that I never did really play was uh, Minecraft, though. That was one... I mean, I have played it, it's just I never really got into it. And... Um, you know, I feel in its initial state it wasn't really a survival game. I think we need to head round into the other side of the cave. That's where the artifact is. I thought we could just walk across that. So, yeah, so this is where we came in and we're just going to go the opposite way round now. So, yeah, uh, working on that video in the background and uh, whether it ever gets released uh, we'll see I keep on throwing stuff in the bin it's just the process of editing and also the process of playing arc Ooh, looks like we'll have to pot up our creature just here so even here if we'd have built in the cave and bred in the cave you still had to have squeezed through this side so it really was designed to be done on foot and uh in a group of people, no doubt. Okay, yeah, so we have to go on underwater somewhere here. But the uh, process of stacking mutations when you don't have any mods on, it takes it takes a while to do. Superman mode. And I don't know if the entrance was underneath me or straight ahead. Is it? Oh, there it is, straight ahead. There we go. Still like these caves that had 
little bit of thought that went into them. It's just so much bad stuff that comes out of the wall. That's something that I hope Ark Ascended, you know, addresses. And I know there was talk about, you know, devs finally testing a build version of the game. And as if that's kind of cause for celebration, but in all honesty, if the devs have only got to the point of just like doing the first test, then it's more realistic that the players are going to be the ones that are going to be testing it. So, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't, I don't know if that necessarily gives me much hope for Ark Ascended at the moment. Um, <laughs> they certainly haven't stress tested it because uh, the devs are just getting their hands on it to play around with. But such is Ark. Okay. Megalodon saddle. Nothing great. I'd say I've not had anything too great out of this cave. It's not one you really want to grind. If I had an otter, I'd probably just wait for three artifacts and do this cave as a one-off. But there's not much I can show you guys in terms of progress about what I've been doing. I have started to breed the rhinos, but I'll show them off in the next episode. I think we'll probably show one more cave where I'm at with the boss dinos and uh, then we'll get into the boss fights and uh, complete this map. God, I love this stuff. Like I say, some of the videos that I make really do take a long time. The one that I've got on the home screen at the moment, the complete crew aberration thing, I think we was playing that for about four months in the background. Um, and I was trying to do the weekly episodes on complete aberration at the same time or bi-weekly episodes um, and then when you break it down and once it was all scripted and done it was made into like a 35 minute video and I know the format of doing 100 days is you know kind of popular at the minute but a lot of them videos just take absolutely months to make so this type of just running around the cave with out too much in the way of editing and just talking this kind of format has kind of died out a little bit and although we do have a purpose we're here to get the artifact of the hunter and was the very first artifact i ever come across in arc when it originally came out the hunter cave on the island blew my mind that i'd been playing the game for i don't know maybe a week and discovered this chitin and keratin cave I was like, wow, what are these artifacts about? It's what the discovery of it all was. It was great. So uh, I have been a fan of Ark, and it was one of the first bunches of survival game. They all kind of cropped up at once. Rust, Ark, Forest, Subnautica. They all came out, you know, around about eight years ago in early access. Everybody wanted to make a survival game. Oh, I mean, look. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Do you reckon they'll uh, fix that glitch when it comes to Ark Ascended? But that's the artifact of the Hunter Cave. A really short, sweet little horseshoe type shape to it. And uh, easy enough when you can chuck out a tame. It's just the most difficult thing about it is finding the entrance for it. And next time I'll show you around the artifact of the Devourer Cave and we'll check in with how the breeding project has gone for the Rhinos before we face off against the Guardians. As always, a huge shout out to the patrons. Thank you very much for your support. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.